back on Albertson's Radio Row. It is the Lobo Post Game Show. Post Game brought to you by the Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino. Winning entertainment, including simulcast racing, live music, dining, the best games, and more. Lobos are 2-0. and oh, A hard-fought victory tonight over South Alabama, New Mexico 80, USA 74. Jeff Simbietta and Hunter Green, courtside, Albertson's Radio Row. Hunter, that, I mean, look, th- these have been two grinders for New Mexico that they played two good teams, two teams that were above them in the net rankings last year, and two teams that they had a fight to win, and you grow up by, and Richard Pitino said the pregame show, you learn by winning, right? You don't want to lose. No, no. It's best to learn, learn by, by winning. winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can learn by losing, I guess. It's best right. to learn by winning. Um, I, I thought there are a couple things that stand out to me. And I, I know I've said it a bunch of times. Boy, it's sure nice to have bigs, isn't yes. it? Yes. I mean, it's nice Good to have bigs. options, yeah. right? And that's really the key. I mean, they, the Lobos had options, and it was Udazi down low. And, of course, hey, can't take it away from Josiah Alec. I mean, he played tough as well. I mean, he's all over the place with nine boards. One rebound shy of a double-double. Udeze had 21.7 rebounds, and Josiah Alec had 13 points and 9 rebounds. Lobos were led in scoring by Udeze and Jalen House. Both had 21. I, I thought it was, and the, the, this, so this is the other thing that just stands out to me. Um, Mashburn wasn't great offensively, although he hit the biggest shot of the night, the three-pointer to ice it. But House was so good defensively, and I look at how many yeah. minutes he played. He chased around. Isaiah Moore for 35 minutes and 51 seconds. That's he played right. 36 out of the 40 minutes and chased him around and still had 21 points and 7 Every, assists. Yeah. And the steals, for some reason, he's only credited with one steal. But the play he made at the end of the game, not the ball game. I mean, that, that, that was it, yeah. right? Player of the game. No question. I mean, love the play of Udezi, right? 21 points, 7 boards. But he didn't have a handful like house had with more no 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 i it, and more was terrific and you know we were talking about it early how would more play he he was terrific in the first half i think he had 17 in the first half and ended up with 19 yeah. ran and, out of and gas was, and also credit house i thought house picked turned it up in the second half defensively especially no on the ball albuquerque downs racetrack and casino winning entertainment including simulcast racing live music dining the best games and more um then you get you get peripheral i thought kj's three was big yeah. Right, the, the three that KJ hit, and you could see the trust that Richard Pitino has in KJ Jenkins. His captain, his co-captain, didn't score a bunch of points, mm-hmm. but he had five points tonight in in sixteen and a half minutes. Big points, and it, it's under control. You trust it when it's in his hands. You really, you feel good about it. It was interesting to see what he did at the end of the game. Right, it was his four starters. And KJ Jenkins were in at the end of the game when, when they came out with thirty was it thirty three seconds to go, and they had the two point lead. Yep. And it, it was such a key possession. Um, he drew it up, had it to KJ, and they drop a play. And, and, and I wonder, do you think, with Richard, do you think the play was to get it to match for that three? Was that a second or third? Look? I, I think you know. Again, we we knew they were going to start uh, you know the offense off with House having the ball in his hands, spread the floor, bring a high ball screen. And- Whatever happens from there, right? House has the freedom to create, find his teammates. He did find Jenkins, and, of course, uh, the ball wound up in Mashburn's hands. Knocks down the big three. Lobos, download the new Lobo Sports app today, presented by Nusenda. Lobo Sports app is free. It can be found on the Apple and Google stores. Download now and go Lobos. Lobos are winners tonight, 80-74. to 74. New Mexico is 2-0 for the 11th time in the last 12 years. I'm going to guess, and, and you've been doing all these, and I've been doing you know, some of these early season games mm-hmm. with you. These are two of the hardest fought early season games in a long time against good competition. Right. That that kind of games that, that that almost felt like a league game, didn't it? Well, you know, it, I kind of reminded me of last was it last year when they went on Montana the Montana State. Well, I think the, at, this was like the Montana State right. game here last yeah. year. Yeah, or on the road at the Las Vegas, uh, the the uh, yeah. Thanksgiving tournament. Yeah, remember they played against those big they played, guards. They played UAB. Yeah, right. Uh, big that, guards. That big. Yep. 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 And so, then Towson was was big. Yeah, I mean they were. So I thought last year those early games were tough for them. And they, I, I think of the Montana State game yeah. was just yeah. like this. It was a game literally just like this. And Montana State was a team that ended up going to the tournament last year, yeah. and, and it was a game that 
that they had a fight in the pit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, to your point earlier, maybe names that people aren't as familiar with, yeah. but teams that are going to really, really make runs. This is a team that won 21 games last year and got better. They added, they added the big guy, Samuel. They add a shooter. And I'm just going to tell you, like, like, I don't know how much more I'm going to be impressed with point guards this year than I was with Isaiah Moore in the first half. 6'1", 190. He's a graduate student for them, and, and he had 70 in the first half, and, and, and just the game was going through him. Yeah, it was. I and mean, that was the game plan. You could tell they were, you know, all their guards, whether it's Franklin or Parham or Moore, they were backing down the Lobos and getting into the paint and creating opportunities. Job. Lobo head basketball coach Richard Patino joins us courtside as his team goes to 2-0 and with a hard-fought 80-74 to win here in the pit. First of all, R- Richard, congratulations. I, there, there are so many things that stand out, and, and people are going to look at House's numbers and, and say he had what 20 points and 7 assists. I thought defensively he worked his backside off against Moore all night, and, and obviously you made that a, a a feature at halftime because you started picking him up full court a little bit and uh but but I, I thought house was terrific on the defensive end yeah he was way more aggressive but solid today than the first game you know he sometimes gets so revved up and all of a sudden you're like oh my god where did house go and then all of a sudden you give up a layup um i thought he was terrific uh i thought we showed really good character i told our team i told our fans i thought this is a really good team uh, south alabama and all your eyes got to do is see that um, we played a much better second half. Just we were way more in rhythm with everything that we were doing. We slowed down. We got the ball into the post because they were in foul trouble. And we kept saying, like, win it from the foul line. Win it from the foul line because they're not going to want to foul you. Um, I thought Josiah, last play of the game, made an awesome pass to Mash for a three. And I told Mash at halftime, like, you didn't play well. Calm down. Short memory, we're still going to roll, dude. You made a big three. Was that the play? Was that the second, third look? Or when you drew up the play with 33 seconds to go, you're, you're up by two. Um, what, what was the play? Was that the first, second, third look for Mash? Well, so the problem was I didn't. they, they go zone underneath that of bounds. Yeah. So we gave him a play that was a man and a zone play. Okay. And then, because we weren't sure, um, but we executed great. KJ kept his boys threw it down to Josiah. Josiah kicked it out. I thought our guys did a really good job of executing today, out of timeouts, um, made some big plays. And like I said, I, I don't know how that team's not top two in their league. Coach, I was going to point that out. I thought the attention to detail you guys had, and it started, I thought, in the first half, just scoring on out-of-bound plays, scoring out of timeouts. Those little things that you guys do, uh, they all added up, and especially towards the end of the game. Yeah, I, you know, it, it was one of those things where I thought our staff did a really good job of seeing some holes and what maybe they were going to give up. And then again, like I say it all the time, but you've got to get teams in foul trouble because they're uneasy. I mean, you know, Samuel is a terrific player. We had to get him on the bench. Then White had fouls, and we had to go at him. Um, so I think you saw a different type of team this year versus last year. But still, at the end of the day, our guards made some big plays. Oh, and, you know, it turned out to be a guard game because I thought with Samuels, it was all about Samuels in the post play. But, man, how about more in that backcourt for South Alabama? Yeah, I mean, he almost had a triple-double. Yeah. We, we did a better job on him in the second yes. half because he had, what, 14 points at halftime. Um, they they, they kind of are like Wyoming offensively where they back you down with yeah, the guards. The guards yeah. And we weren't great. And I kept telling them, guys, don't be afraid to foul because we, we're in like three or four fouls. Um, but we were a little bit soft with that, so we got to learn from that, especially when we play Wyoming. Um, but I thought it'd be a really good game, and, and it turned out to be that. And we did a great job of not turning the ball yeah. over. Oh, uh, yeah. 19 assists and 6 turnovers. It's, awesome. uh, it's nice to have bigs, isn't it? Good bigs who, can, options, who can defend. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Jalen's got new toys out there. You're rebounding. You're defending. Like, it's a... It, it, it's nice to have bigs. It is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you can always throw the ball down low um, for the most part. Last year was very challenging at times because it was pretty obvious what we were going to do. So, as I said many times last year, we were not a complete team, which is understandable when you're adding a bunch of players during a pandemic right. and you're in a rebuild. It's going to take time. But uh, I feel good about this group. We got to continue to grow. We got a tough road game. I mean, we got three road games in the non conference, which is really hard. So we got to see if we can steal one. Coach, I, I, I was impressed. I, I really was because that was a good team. And of course, the way you guys handled 
the play of the guard in the backcourt for South Alabama because you knew exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to back you guys down. And, and you guys, I thought in the second half, especially House, I mean, the pressure he added on Moore um, and the huge turnover, right, uh, in the crucial. Yeah, right, right here at the end. Yeah, yeah. That was the, the biggest shot was Mash, and then House's turnover, forced turnover. I, again, it was House defensively. I thought he, he worked so hard. Yeah. And we were talking, I don't know if it was, if it was you know, them playing at sea level two nights ago and then traveling across the country would more, would, would more wear out. I don't know if it's, he wore out or you wore him out. Well, I, I said to the guys, we have to get better as the game goes on. We can't be good at first. We've got to dig in when we're tired and they're tired. And I thought we played some of our best basketball in the last five minutes of the yeah. game. So right? you said something in the pregame show. Yeah, you, it's nice to learn lessons when you win, right? And being in these close games against good teams, you learn how to win. And, and I remember you and I talking early last year about learning how to win and what does that mean. This is kind of what it means, isn't it? Yeah, and, and it's still a new team with a lot of new faces. So now we can reference back to the game film, see, see how it – you know, like like what were the winning plays? What were plays that we can't do and learn and evolve? But you have to learn from winning because losing is really hard. Um, and you just got to – they listen a little bit better when you win, that's for sure. <laughs> enjoy. Go, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, have a good enjoy night. Enjoy this one. Safe travels. SMU's next. It's yes, a, sir. Interesting one. Richard Patino. Go Lobos. Lobos are 2-0 and after – winning today 80 to 74 against South Alabama. Josiah Alec is going to join us next on the post game show. He had a terrific night. His best one is a Lobo. Yeah, oh, well, <laughs> yeah. he didn't score in the first one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he scored the first five points tonight, That's didn't right. he? Yeah. We'll continue the uh, post game show. Lobos beat South Alabama tonight 80 to 74 here in the pit. You're listening to Lobo Basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. Back on Albertson's Radio Row, New Mexico beat South Alabama tonight, 80 to 74. Jeff Sabieta and Hunter Green as the Lobos improved to 2 and 0, 11th time in 12 years that UNM has started 2 and 0. But uh, Hunter, it, it was not easy tonight nope. as they had a really good team out of the Sun Belt Conference sitting in front of them tonight. That they had a fight, they were down in the second half. There were deficits to fight through, and the Lobo team, Richard Patino, just talked about it. You know, it's it's a lot easier to learn by winning. You, I, I think you, I think you learn how to win, and and you get this as a player, right? right. And I, I think as fans, people say, I don't even know what that means, right? What does it mean learning how to win? Come on, um, it's games like this, and I think early in the season you fight through it. And like Richard said, yeah. l- let's go see what we did and how we did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, fighting through adversity, fighting through you know um, not being able to knock down shots. I mean, that can get in your head. I think he kind of alluded to that with Mashburn and having kind of an off night in the first half, but knocks down a huge three when it counted. Josiah Alec is coming to join us. TLC wants to thank their customers for trusting them with your home and business service needs. TLC is here when you need us or need them when you need them most. TLC, plumbing, heating, and cooling. We are joined by Josiah Alec, the Big guy for New Mexico who had, I know I was just saying, yeah, that was your best game as a Lobo, huh? your second game as a Lobo, 13 points, 9 rebounds, congratulations on the win. Thank you, thank you. So, I don't know, there's a lot of ways to play. You didn't score the other night, mm. um, and then you go out and score the first five points of the game tonight. Mm. I, I, we kind of looked at each other and it was you, like. You know what, I'm, I'm looking at Josiah. Yeah. Tell us how you feel. I mean, really, this is your second game in the pit. The first one, I felt like you had jitters, and tonight it felt like you just played and you just felt better. Yeah, um, I think I think part of what played into that is obviously in that first game, um, I never really had a chance to kind of get going. Um, obviously, I picked up those two oh, offensive right. fouls, yeah. Um, so that kind of you know cut me up, and then you know next time I'm in, um, you know obviously I try to like ignore that stuff and just let the the rest of the game play, but um, it, it was kind of a little bit hard because you know I know that you know one more like I pick up a second a third one in the first half, you're down. You know yeah. then you're really kind right. of walking on eggshells, but. Um, yeah, you know, I try I try not to let, you know, get too high or too low. Um, and, let, you know, obviously we won the first game. Yeah. So, you know, you can't really be upset about that. But how do you feel? You feel comfortable out there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I felt like you, you you looked more comfortable this game. Mm-hmm. No, I, I think I think there definitely was. A, a, I think not been right. Yeah, a little, a little, little bit. Okay. That's okay, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, I may, I may have had a little bit in the first. Uh, Look, I played on this court. Game. I know how it feels yeah. when you first come in, in no, playing I mean, this it, building. It's an electric crowd. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, 